Yes. What makes Vasily so special and one of the top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world? Well, because he is uh, very dedicated. He doesn't do that because he wants it to do. He does that because he loves it. He loves, he loves the hard work. He's a very hard worker. He is uh, dedicated. He's very disciplined to it. And it's in his heart. That's what makes him the best. Now, Vasily, how do you get motivated for a fighter that most fight critics say that it's going to be another easy fight, it's going to be another easy outing against Jason Sosa? Да, говорит, как ты, как ты мотивируешь, потому что все говорят, что это как бы для тебя это будет легкий бой, как бы все говорят, что это ну, не будет сложный бой. I, I always preparation hard, I always training hard. You know, I have a lot of experience in amateur boxer boxing. Then then you fight with a uh, opponent, easy opponent. Easy, easy opponent. You 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 can relax before the fight uh, and uh, and then you fight with this this fighter. Uh, he can uh, do for for you Lara a lot of surprise. How, how bad are you or how badly do you want that big fight against let's say Mikey Garcia or Jorge Linares? Как сильно ты хочешь? Боксировать с самыми такими, как Майки Гарсия. Точно так, как я хотел очень сильно выиграть две олимпийские медали. Very similar the way I wanted to get a two gold medals in the Olympics. Jason Sosa, he gave Nicholas Walters a great fight. He found Nicholas Walters. Walters was coming in with a better rhythm into that fight. Um, what do you make of his performance against Sosa, and what do you expect from, from Sosa? Что ты ожидаешь от Сосы? Ты очень хорошо, ну как бы выглядел с Волтерсом. Что ты ожидаешь в бою с Сосом? I wait uh, a, hard, a hard fight because I know. He he want to win this fight. He has a lot of uh, motivation for for him, for for his team, for his uh, uh, family, fans. He want he wants win, and it will be a great and interesting fight. As I spoke to the great Roy Jones Jr. and he holds you a high regard in the pound for pound. He puts you at number one, two, or three. Um, based on the performance Gennady Golovkin was able to give, where would you rank your top three pound for pound fighters today in boxing? Top three, such as in mm -hmm. Triple G, Kovalov, and Terence Crawford. Even after the performance he gave against Jacobs, it was very um, close fight. I think before Jacobs won. Yeah, I think it's a real, uh, it was a very close fight. But you know, if you wanna, if you wanna beat a champion. You need uh, you need uh, dominate all all fight. It looks like it looks like my fight with the Salida. It's the same. Was it like Ward versus Kovalev as well? A lot of people have mentioned it. Was, was it resembling to that fight as well? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> but you you know who who was a who was a champion on in the in this fight? Kovalev was a champion. If you wanna be a champion, <laughs> you need dominate it all fight. But then, why does the UK produce so much talented boxers? You, Usi, Vozdik, Klitschko. Что вы просто в чем? Почему Украина делает таких хороших боксеров? Different air. <laughs> Good school. Uh, you know, I think it's uh, the same the same situation in Mexico, in U United States. We we have just uh, four top fighters four five top fighters in Ukraine. Uh, Mexico and the uh, United States and Argentina uh, has two Ilara boxers, very famous and very popular boxers. What's, what's the toughest style out of all of um, the cities? There's Mexico, Mexico's Puerto Rican from which you face having that, that long extensive amateur career and as a pro, what is the more complicated style, the Mexican style, the Puerto Rican style? Есть какой-то стиль мексиканский, портуриканский, который ты встречал, может, в любителях? No, all people know just, uh, just one style, it's Mexican style. Another style, I don't, I don't hear about another style. 
it for me, for me, for me, you know, it's uh, it's Mexican style. And second style, I have a uh, one more style. It's the Jenga style. And That's it. Maybe the Cuban style. Cu yeah, maybe yeah. Guillermo Rigondeaux. Yeah, Rigondos? you're right. I'm 126. But would you compromise for that? Fight? Who this? Rigondeaux. I want to ask, would you compromise if that fight was to be presented to you and you back down to 126 for the year moving in the fight? Что он за регион Да, он говорит, ты рассматривал бой, если 126. You're gonna see in the ring right now. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thank you. Thank you, guys.